Hi, so for this particular investigation, I'm going to be exploring a chemical concept, rates of reaction. Now the rate of reaction is the speed at which a chemical reaction occurs and multiple factors impact it. And I have decided to explore one particular factor, which is the surface area of the reactant. So what we are going to be doing here is we are going to be investigating one independent variable and that is the surface area of the tablet. Now there are different options you could try. You could keep the surface area the same and try and change the temperatures of the water and or you could see what whether stirring impacts the rate of reaction. But in this case my assistants and I we decided to go with the surface area of the tablet. So we are going to be using 200 ml water in four different beakers. In the first beaker, we are going to be putting the whole tablet. Next one, halved, here quartered, and here completely crushed. And then let's time and see how long it takes for the reaction to get done, okay? So now we've put 200 ml water in four beakers, and we're going to be testing what happens when we put an effervescent tablet inside. And which of you would want to time it, and which of you wants to put the tablet in? Can I put the tablet in? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll time it. Go for it. Okay, three, two, one, go. So we can see these little bubbles. The carbonic source and the acid are reacting and what's being given out is carbon dioxide. So we're going to be waiting for all the bubbles to form and the tablet to completely dissolve and we're going to be recording the time. So the advantage of using these tablets is they're not that quick when the effervescence is a reaction is seen so it's easier to time and probably get a good reading so it's been three minutes and one second and the tablet is still going strong so i'm going to be pausing and i'll update you with the time once it dissolves oh, can you see it the little bubbles <laughs> so finally this tablet dissolved when it was an entire tablet in three minutes and 53 seconds and what we've, got, we've done here is we've made a little table because it's very important to document what readings we get. So here I've got the tablets when it's halved, quartered, crushed, and then I'm going to be documenting the time. And we need at least three readings to get a, re a data which is reliable. So now let's move on and see the next stage. So here is our result table. As you can see, we repeated it three times so that it increases the reliability of the data. And we can still see that between the whole and the half tablet, the results are not very distinctly different. But what trend can we see here? So we can see as the pieces get smaller, the time gets less. So it looks like the surface area, when the surface area has increased, the rate of reaction actually increases. Now this data can be represented, let's say making a graph, and then we can see the trend and see how the uh, both the, the independent and the dependent variable are related. So as with every investigation, there is always scope for improvement. What could we have done better with this one? Uh, we could have cut the pieces more accurately and tried and got every piece in. Right, and obviously even recording the time more in more detail would probably give us a better trend but uh, nonetheless we got pretty nice results and mm -hmm. good luck with yours